Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and we are in our indoor studio. Um, if you haven't checked out one of our previous videos where we had a photo shoot here with some pups, I'll be linking it right up here for you to see. So basically, this is our new studio setup and we've been having a lot of fun with it for some photography and some videos. So I'm going to be filming uh, here and there at this new spot uh, once in a while. So welcome to our new spot, basically. If you're a subscriber of ours, so you probably saw this photo here that I posted on the community tab. And I asked you if you wanted to see a little behind the scenes of how we did this photo. And I also shared it on Instagram and a lot of you were asking how we did this. So this little video is a quick behind the scenes of how we did it and the tips and tricks on how to achieve this photo. So tip number one is consistency and patience. Herc and Milton are really, really used to photos and they will actually come right up here when I take out the camera because they know that this means work and this means treats. I've been taking photos and videos of Mil of Herky for almost five years now. She's She just turned five. Maybe by the time we see this video, she turned five already. And she her birthday is May 3rd. And I've been taking videos and photos of her ever since she was a puppy. So she's really used to it. So that is why I say patience and consistency and repetition is key. The more you do something, the more they're gonna get used to it. Tip number two is to have some treats handy. This is always good to reinforce a good behavior that your dog does. So always positively reinforce when they do something that you like. For example, pose for photos. Tip number three is never force your dog to do something that they don't want to do because they can get scared of it. For example, if you want to try something and then they get scared, just stop doing it or take it back a notch or two and then treat them and reward them and just take your time with that same photo setup. You can try again another day. You can do it step by step in order for your dog to be more used to it. For example, in the setup that I'm going to show you, if your dog is not used to taking photos at all, I would start by first of all taking photos of your dog more often, maybe getting them used to the lighting and rewarding them. Then you can get them used to posing with things. Uh, I know Herky was not used to posing with Milton at first, so that took a lot of time to get them used to posing with each other. I know some pups that we sometimes take photos with, they're not used to having somebody else in the photo with them, so they're great at taking photos alone, but when there's another dog in the photo, then they get a bit more distant. So always go with whatever your dog is comfortable with and work your way up the level of difficulty. So today I'm going to show you how I do this incredible setup of tons of plushies with Herky and Milton. My basic tips are going to be I'm going to start setting it up so that they know what we're doing in the spot that they're used to taking photos at. Then I'm going to treat them and get them to approach the plushies uh, more and more. Then I'm going to get them to lie down onto the plushies and then reward them. Then I'm going to direct their head down, treat them again and tell them stay. And from there, it's always a question of telling them stay and then you stack the plushies on them. So let's get to the behind the scenes.
So I hope these tips are somewhat helpful for you. Again, this is a pretty advanced photo uh, for dogs to do, but um, as I'm telling you, the number one tip would be consistency and patience. It takes a lot of time for them to get to this level of like comfort, and we have a pretty good communication, um, Herky Milton and I, that we know, like they know what I want at this point when I say stay, so they know and they are very patient, but as you can see like in the footage, sometimes I'll reach for treats and then they think it's it, it means like they're done, and then you you will have to start from zero again, but those things do happen and just it takes a lot of patience and repetition so you just do it over and over again and sometimes there's a mishap that can happen and they're just not going to want to work but uh, hopefully this helps you at least a little bit if you do decide to retry this photo uh, whether it be with one plush two plushes three or like 20 like this um, do tag us on Facebook and Instagram. Our handle is at Herky the Cavalier. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you appreciate. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. Just give this video a thumbs up. We love you so much and we'll see you soon.